five exercises for Jiu Jitsu, part two. First up is the farmer's carry. It's no secret that having strong forearms can be an advantage when it comes to Jiu Jitsu, especially when wearing a gi. This exercise strengthens your core, traps, and your forearms. It's a great overall exercise for your body and you'll see a more rapid growth in strength and size compared to other muscle groups. Grab a heavy weight and walk back and forth until your grip gives out. It's that simple. The most commonly used weights are dumbbells and kettlebells. Next up, we have dips. Dips are an exercise that primarily focuses on engaging your chest and your triceps. Although this may be a difficult exercise to perform at first for some people, many gyms offer an assisted dip machine to help you build strength until you can perform a bodyweight dip. I would encourage you to do these slow and controlled during the eccentric portion and explode for the concentric portion. That's just a fancy way of saying go slow down and fast up. Don't forget to pause at the bottom and the top of the movement to minimize momentum and maximize time under tension for your chest and your triceps. If these are too easy for you, then you can add weight using a dip belt. Or if you don't have one or forgot yours like I did, then I just add a leg raise, which really engages your entire core and hip flexors. But be warned, these are not easy. But if you can do them, then it will make you stronger. Believe it. Only Naruto fans get it. Number three, muscle ups. Okay, okay, I know what you're gonna say. Jason, this is too hard. Jason, these are supposed to be easy. Well, guess what? I'm gonna stop you right there. I never said these were gonna be easy. Muscle ups are incredibly hard. If you're not able to do a muscle up yet, then it sucks to be you. But an easier alternative is just performing pull ups until you reach about 15 or so. A bonus variation would be learning to execute an explosive pull up. To perform this exercise, you will need to generate a lot of power from your back, but this one by itself is an incredible exercise that will give you powerful lats. Number four on this list is the machine bicep curl. Why machine curls instead of free weight? To be honest, I can't give you a solid answer, but in my opinion, hitting machine bicep curls at the end of a workout is a powerful way to facilitate hypertrophy while maintaining proper form. And since the machine forces your arms into a position in front of your body, which helps isolate your biceps even more, I think this should be a must for any arm day, especially if you're looking to grow some thick biceps. If you have powerful biceps, then this will allow you to establish and maintain connection with your opponents, which is especially true in no gi, not in yes gi. For example, if you're passing someone's guard and you grab an underhook, then you are maintaining that connection with your bicep. It's also used in plenty of other positions such as chokes and collar ties. Finally, we reach the last exercise, box jumps. I'm relatively new to plyometric exercises, but I'm training as an athlete, not as a bodybuilder. So I'm always looking for new ways to teach my body how to generate a large amount of power in a short amount of time. Jumping on a box does just that. The stronger our legs, the faster we can take a shot on someone. And the more explosive our glutes and legs are, the more we can embarrass our opponent. We also use our legs when we are passing someone's guard and for certain submissions such as a triangle choke. So do yourself a favor and work out your legs. If you watch this far, then just know I think you're really cool. And please consider subscribing so I can continue to do videos for YouTube and do it full time. Before you go, I have a question for you. Do you pull guard or do you always go for the takedown? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious. I want to hear you guys' responses. If these exercises were interesting and you liked them, then let me know so I can continue to do more videos like this to help you guys out. I know this, this is something I would have loved to watch when I was a white belt. I have even more exercises I want to share, but I need to know that you guys will actually watch it because I spend a lot of hours on each video and I record at a public gym with my large camera and everybody stares and judges me. I can hear it in their head. So please do me a favor and like and share this video to let me know you guys want to see more. See you guys on the next video. Bye.